Russian armored vehicles are losing massively on the battlefield due to U.S. Bradley. Over the past two years of the Great War, the Russian army lost 150 armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles per month. However, in May 2024, the figure increased to 288 units, and these are only confirmed losses. Forbes writes about this. It is noted that one of the reasons is that numerous losses of armored vehicles force the Russians to use older and less protected models, while the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces uses powerful American Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. We are constantly trying to demonstrate videos of the work of our crews in the best quality because it is important not only to remind once again that that Ukrainians can effectively fight with any foreign equipment, but also to confirm this clearly, the military said and released the corresponding video. The footage shows how an infantry fighting vehicle works against enemy infantry. Already on the way back, an FPV drone hits the car. The crew didn't even feel this and continued moving. There is no reason why many more of these vehicles should not be sent. The US Army no longer uses this model and thousands of them are stored in army warehouses. The article says, it is noted that since getting its first of more than 300 M2s starting early last year, the Ukrainians have lost around 40 of the vehicles. The average loss rate, around two Bradleys a month, has remained steady as the Ukrainians have gained experience with the type. So far, the 47th Mechanized Brigade is the only Ukrainian operator of M2s, but after getting a fresh batch of 100 or so of the vehicles last month, the general staff in Kyiv might be able to equip a second brigade. This would double the number of sectors where Ukraine could have a vehicular advantage over Russia, and there's no reason the Americans can't send a lot more M2s. The US Army no longer uses the model of the Bradley that Ukraine uses. A strong fire broke out in an industrial facility near Glasgow, Scotland. According to the local media, explosions were heard in the background of a strong fire. One of the witnesses said that the police closed the roads around the enterprise. Residents in Renfrewshire and some parts of Glasgow noticed huge plumes of smoke in the sky. Police, firefighters and Scottish Environment Protection Agency officials were called to the scene. The force has also confirmed that the fire broke out within the Linwood Industrial Estate. Eyewitnesses report a chemical smell and hearing loud explosions. The smoke plume could be seen for miles from across Glasgow and beyond. Scotland's First Minister John Swinney said he was very concerned by the incident and urged members of the public to follow emergency service advice. An eyewitness told STV News the sound was like gunshots and there was steel flying everywhere as half of Linwood gathered to watch the inferno. Social media users flooded the internet with footage of the incident, which showed thick black smoke covering the sky. Scottish Environment Protection Agency officers are on the scene after a massive plume of thick, black smoke engulfed the sky above Linwood Industrial Estate. We would like to apologize to local residents and businesses for any inconvenience caused and kindly ask them to follow any advice issued by the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. There have been no injuries and the cause of the fire will be the subject of an immediate and thorough investigation. Police have closed Bunbury Road at the Linclive Interchange due to the fire. The cycle path behind the industrial estate has also been closed. Thank <laughs> you.